Hi guys, welcome back. DJ Holland here from Crossfader. In this, our third and final part of the series, we're going to look at taking the basics that we've already learnt on the iPad and moving them on. Maybe you want to DJ in a bar or at a party or something like that and you want to DJ with external speakers, well, without the use of external hardware like this controller here, which can get expensive, it can be difficult to do so. But in this video, we're going to cover the adapters and the cables and everything you're going to need to take your iPad DJ to the next level. Let's begin. So we've already covered the basics of how to mix on the iPad, but now comes the time where you might want to plug into some bigger speakers, maybe you want to DJ at a bar or a party, and we want to take our iPad DJ into the next level. Now traditionally if you're going to go DJ for a party or a bar or something like that, you'd need a professional piece of hardware, maybe a DJ controller or a set of turntables and a mixer or some CDJs. What that would allow you to do is to plug in bigger speakers via the audio ports provided on a bigger mixer and it would also allow you to plug your headphones into the front so we could do a thing called queuing. Now queuing allows you to be able to listen to your sources of music, your two different decks, your two tracks independently of what the crowd is hearing in the speakers. And the reason we'd want to do that is to make sure our mix is in time and make sure the EQing is done properly. Now on the iPad, we don't have any um, you know, audio ports on here, there's no headphone jack on this iPad Pro anymore, but we can actually set this iPad up quite cheaply to replicate what we have here on this more professional mixer. Now, having a look at this mixer here, we've got our headphone port at the front, and our speakers are plugged into the back, on our master out. So a master is what goes to the speakers, that's what the crowd hears. Your headphones is what we call the queue, what, what we're queuing as a DJ. Now the queuing system is quite simple really. We've got a queue button for every source on the mixer, so each deck has its own queue. The master has a queue, just up there. And down this corner here we have our controls. We have our headphone volume, so how loud we hear it, and then we have this mixing knob here, headphone mixing knob. Now all the way to the left it says Q, and when this is active all we can hear is the individual channels we have selected. So if we're maybe DJing with channel 2 up out to the master, that's what the crowd's hearing, they're hearing that second deck, and we want to mix in channel 1 and we want to make sure you know it's in time, it's EQ properly, we're going to hit Q on that button there, and with this knob all the way to the left, all we're going to hear in our headphones is solely that channel. If we take that knob all the way to the far right, to the master, all we're going to hear is the master, we're not going to hear anything of that channel whatsoever. So what we can do in, in this knob here is find that fine balance. What a lot of DJs do is leave this completely to the left, completely on the cue, and what they'll do to cue the master is actually take one of their headphones off, so they've got one headphone on listening to this one channel, maybe in the left ear, and they've got one ear exposed to the music, i.e. exposed to the speakers and the master level. Now, on the iPad, we don't have the audio ports, we don't have two separate headphone jacks on here to be able to plug into you know, the speakers and a set of headphones, but that doesn't mean we can't do it. With a cheap and easy adapter, we can actually do that. So let's dig into it and get started. So what we're gonna to need to get this iPad set up so we can plug into speakers and headphones just like we would on a DJ mixer. Well, this being the iPad Pro 2018 model, we don't have any headphone jacks. Unfortunately, thanks Apple. So the first thing we're going to need is one of these. This is a USB Type-C, it's a 3.5mm headphone jack. And what that's going to allow us to do, we can plug that straight in the side there. And that's going to give us an audio out to our speakers. We can plug that straight in and whatever we do on the iPad, that sound's going to go straight out to the speakers. Now, that alone isn't good enough. We won't be able to use our headphones, so 
when the volume of the club, the bar, the part gets a bit loud, you might, you know, you might want to hear what's going on, on the iPad. You can't do that. You can't listen to this deck, well, not this one, without interrupting what the master's going to hear. So all we're going to need is one of these cables. This is a mono split DJ cable, and it looks like one headphone end on one end and two female 3.5 millimeter jacks on the other. Now, do not get this confused with a usual headphone splitter cable. With one of these, you plug it into your iPod or your phone or whatnot, and you can share your sound with two friends, you know, with your friends and yourself. This isn't good enough. This splits the stereo to both. This sends the headphone channel down one end and the master down the other. Now, they're both outputting mono, but they output separately, and that's what's important. We can send one feed to the speakers and to the crowd, and they can happily dance away. And on the other side, we can plug in our headphones and listen to what we're actually doing in the mix separately and not bothering the crowd whatsoever. So we'll plug that into the headphone adapter. On the mono split DJ cable, there is a small icon on the rear of the two jacks. One has a headphone emblem, and one has a speaker emblem. So I'm gonna plug the headphones into the headphone emblem. And then what we're gonna use here is a 3.5 millimeter jack cable to RCA adapter. Now this is gonna go plug into the speaker adapter. And the other end is gonna plug into the back of our head of our speaker. Now we're plugged in, we just need to change a few settings in the iPad to let it know that we actually do have our headphones and our speaker split. So the iPad knows where to send each audio feed. Now within the DJ app, if we open up our dashboard here, and you see the little cog in the bottom right hand corner, that is our settings utility. If we open that up, at the top we have our master volume. Now that's a volume that goes out to the speakers. You can also control this with the dedicated hardware buttons on the iPad, but we can just set that. We normally set that quite high to put less strain on the speakers and the amplifiers. Straight underneath, we have a section called pre-queuing and split output. Now we need to toggle this on. And when we do, we have another volume knob straight underneath, volume slider. That is the volume of your headphones. That's where you'll adjust the headphones volume. And underneath we have a Q mix slider. Now the Q mix slider is just like the mixing knob, headphone knob on the DJ mixer that we took a look at. All the way to the left to the Q, our headphones, we're only gonna hear the channels we're queuing. All the way to the right, to the mix, all we're gonna hear is the master out. So this is where you can fine tune to your preference what you'd like. Like I said before, a lot of DJs will have that all the way over to Q and will just use their other ear to actually manually listen to the mix. Now, we're in the classic view again, as before, but you'll notice two additions now. Down by the crossfader here, we actually have two sets of little headphone icons. Now, when you press this headphone icon and it turns blue, that means the deck that's selected with the headphone icon is what you're gonna hear out of your headphones. That is your Q button. It's bright orange and says Q on it on a, you know, a Pioneer DJ mixer. On the iPad, an algorithm DJ, it's blue and looks like a little headphone emblem. You'll also notice that when the your crossfader is all the way to one side, so we're mixing this right hand deck in here. The headphone album will automatically turn on. The reason for that is, if we're all the way to the right and we're playing this right hand deck out to the master, then we don't need that cued because that's already out there. That's, you know, you can take your headphone off and listen to that. It's already been played out. So it'll automatically cue the left hand deck for you, knowing that you're going to be mixing this one next. You will listen to this and mixing this one next. And then once you've performed the mix and you go all the way across, it flicks it across and cues the right hand side for you. Just saves you a little bit of time. When you're in the middle here, you can choose both or neither. It's completely up to you. Well, that's how you set up your iPad with a quick and easy adapter 
for queuing and for sending out your master to your speakers. And there we have it. We hope these last three lessons have been useful for you to get started with Algorithm DJ. If you'd like to learn more, check out the link below in the description where we've got another free lesson for you and we'll have more coming on the website. As always, make sure you like, share, subscribe and tag your friends in this video and we'll see you again. Thanks.